What if I told you that this was one of Benjamin Moore's best-selling colors? You think I was crazy, right? Green? Being popular? I mean, I get it. I'm a greenaholic. Let's discover what's so special about Soft Fern together in this episode of Color Quickie. And please stay tuned later on for my Soft Fern color pairings and trim color options. I'm gonna equip you with all the color content you require six days a week on the Paint People channel. That's a lot of paint content. So the name is Soft Fern, and it's a fairly popular paint color despite being kind of greeny. What I want to do is what I always do in these videos. Let's start with some more technical stuff, and then I'll get into my opinion on things afterwards. So the LRV, or the light reflectance value of this color, is 56.67. And that means it's reflecting about 56% of the light that hits it, a little more than half. And that makes it a mid-tone color. I think Soft Fern is a very interesting mid-tone green that is advertised as being a pale green with gray tones. I don't think that does it justice though, because I feel it has the slightest bit of a warm beige within it. And this takes it from a light sage color to a juicy, almost delicious greenage. That's greeny beige for the light person. And not to harp on it too much, but I'm a big greenage fan. I really love the greeny neutrals that are coming into prominence because it just offers you a nice alternative to beige. Greenage is, Admittedly a made up term by me, but it is one of my favorite types of neutrals because it's barely neutral at all. It has a definite green hue, but it's also passive enough to work in place of a more standard beige or gray. I just find it to be much more interesting. And even though it's still soft and subtle, it has color to it. It has a noticeable hue, but with the added color that can bring some complication. So you want to make sure the green aspect is really working well with the other elements of your home. It's not super subtle and super neutral with no coloration where it'll just fit in the background. It is greeny. So you want to make sure that it works with your home, your flooring, your furniture. The best way to do that is to physically test your colors out in your house. Bring that color home at least with a swatch. If you can get a tester paint pot, and paint a tester board, that's even better. If you love plant life like me, if you use a lot of organic materials, which are becoming more popular nowadays, if you want more of an earthy, one with nature aesthetic, Soft Fern is really a great place to start. Not only did I start you off, I'm gonna finish the job too by giving you some other colors you can use with it. This video is sponsored by no one, actually, but if you do wanna further support us, you can of course hit that like and subscribe button. You can also press the join button and become a channel member for the price of a bottle of Evian and like a small one too. Only the finest waters for my paint people. Color pairing time. So I've picked three wall colors, I suppose, and then two trim options for you so you can kit out your entire color palette for your home, should you so choose. The first color is Sonnet AF55, and this is a lighter color overall. It has about a 70 LRV, and like most episodes of Color Quickie, the first color pairing is usually the one you can think about using the most, kind of your main color option. And although Sonnet works in that way, so does Soft Fern, in my opinion. I I like both of them in a more balanced fashion. And to me, Sonnet has this super pale, hot cocoa pink undertone that really complements the green and soft fern beautifully. On its own, it is more of a pale neutral, but the magic is when it's combined with some of the other colors in this palette. Really, if Sonnet is 1A, Soft Fern is 1B. They're very interchangeable colors that you can use in similar parts of your home. Next up, we have Ice Cap as the second color pairing, number 1576. And this one has an LRV of just around 67, so still fairly light, but just a little bit deeper than Sonnet. I could almost see this as a 1C color based on how light and pale it is, but because of its cool aspect, Ice Cap really feels a little more like a subtle accent color choice here, either in the same space or it could be used individually in a sectioned off room. Great bathroom color. It could work well in a bedroom too if you wanted something a bit lighter. It has enough of a prominent blue hue to feel not gray even though there is this sort of muted, dusty, sort of desaturated feel to it. Speaking of ice cap, cap is sometimes short for cappuccino. Any Tim Hortons fans watching? And this is our third color pairing. This becomes the accent color, believe it or not. It is the darkest one so far, but as you can see, 
not super dark, 44.81 LRV, which gives it more of a mid-tone distinction. So it's still somewhat versatile based on its depth. It's not gonna feel too dark for a lot of people. That being said, even though it's still a tone or a toned down color with some of that gray aspect, it has this coral undertone that's pretty apparent. It's kind of an energetic pinky peachiness, which makes it more than just a mid-tone beige or tan. It is super complimentary to soft fern. So this is a neutral that will very much stand out in a unique way. I could have gone darker here, but I wanted to keep this palette a little more easy breezy. Sue me, please don't sue me. Now that you have your walls taken care of, what about your baseboards and your doors and your frames? I got two trim color options. The first one is no stranger to this channel, White Dove OC17, one of my favorite off-whites by Benjamin Moore, period. It has the right amount of subtle warmth to it. It's not too stark at all. It has none of that harsh yellow undertone, which can be problematic and off-putting sometimes. It's more of a creamy kind of gray, beigey warmth, which I really, really love on cabinets normally, but in this case, on the baseboards. And for a darker trim color, maybe you want a nice dark door color, or you just wanna go crazy with your baseboards, I recommend looking at Blacktop 2135-10. This is really a beautiful, rich shade of green. It's sort of smoky and mysterious. I handpicked it for soft fern specifically as a trim color, but I also enjoy the interactions it has with some of the other colors in this palette too. I do find it to be pretty similar to this color that we talked about in this video. And subscribe so you stay up to date with our videos. You wouldn't want to miss one, would you? If not, clicky clicky.